an accessible drive. Disk extractory is corrupted or unreadable. As you can see guys, I connected an external hard drive to my computer and here's how it's showing up on my screen. When I click on the external hard drive, it takes a while to respond and then it freezes, displaying the following error message. First, it takes a significant amount of time and then it shows this error on accessible drive, disk extractory is corrupted or unreadable. I will show you how to resolve this in two different ways. The first method involves using the command prompt. If that doesn't work, we will move on the second method. So let's get started. So go to your Windows menu and type CMD or command prompt. I usually type CMD and that's fine. And once it appears, you're gonna go to right click on it and select run as administrator. I'm gonna click it and then this screen will show up. Here's what you're gonna need to do. Type the following command and make sure to follow it closely to avoid any mistakes. You're gonna type C eight K D S key. Then you add a space and then determine the drive you want to fix. In my case, it's the drive D. So go back to the command prompt and add the drive letter to the command. In this case, it's D. Then you are going to write two dots, forward slash F, space again, and forward slash X. And then finally, hit enter. When you do that, you're gonna wait for a while and the duration depends on how your computer processing speed it is. It might take some time and you see a series of messages here on the prompt, so don't worry, just let it proceed. Once the process is complete, check if your drive is functioning normally. If that method didn't work for you, I have more videos in the card sections regarding external hard drive issues. I've completed a completed playlist dedicated to this topic and I've helped numerous people read. So if this method didn't solve your problem, check out the other videos in the cards in the description below. So this was the first method and if it worked for you, please leave a like and a comment and if not, let's move on to the next step. Let's suppose my local disk E is in trouble. So right click on the drive you want to fix, go to properties, and then go to security tab and click on edit. Here in the edit section, click on edit and grant permission to the user. The issue here is that your user doesn't have access to this drive. You need to know your username and usually it's your name, but some people change their usernames and that to find out, you're gonna right click on the task bar and open the task manager. It's that simple. Now you're going to users. There you see your username. So my username is my name, like I said. So we're going to go back to the same place, to the local disk permissions, and in this box I'm going to type my username, you're gonna type yours. And you, when you type it, don't worry, if you make a slight mistake in a letter or two, it will like recognize the mistake and incorrectly, automatically. So type your username here and click check names. As you can see, it will confirm the, rec the correct one and then you're going to click OK. When you do it, you're going to click on a few control in, the, in this tab of allow and then you're going to click and apply and OK. It may take a little bit of a moment and I'll recommend you to wait for the process and as it's setting up the secret set settings. So also keep in mind that this time, the time it takes depends on the number of files on your hard drive and your computer's performance. So we can't help with it and we can't rush it. And then you click confirm. I hope this have helped you and if it worked for you, please leave a like I will leave you more videos here related to the external drive issues and you can find them at the end. 
I will see you in the next video.